Hi friends, in this video we are going to study fifth question of the HNDA 2020 financial management pass paper. This question evaluates valuation section. If you think this video is useful, please give a like, share with your friends and if there are any doubts on this question, you can ask through comment section. Subscribe this channel with click the bell button for getting the notification of the forthcoming videos. Okay, let's go to the video. First, briefly explain of three concepts related to bond valuation. There are three concepts is given in the question. Those are pure discount bonds bonds with majority perpetual bonds pure discount bonds make no periodic interest or coupon payments Bonds without coupons are called zero coupon bonds and are commonly known as pure discount bonds. Zero coupon bonds have only two cash flows, the payment for the bond at current market price and the face value at majority. Example, a one year zero coupon bond with a hundred rupees face value has an initial price of 90 rupees period 0 to 1 cash flow 95 rupees outflow in 0 period 10 rupees in inflow majority period that is first year so in the PO discount bonds there is no coupon rate or interest rate like that there is no rate of return in the pure discount bonds zero coupon bonds pays indirect interest Investors are compensated for the time value of money by purchasing the bond at a discount to its face value. Prior to its majority date, the price of a zero coupon bond is always less than its face value. That is, zero coupon bonds always trade at a discount, a price lower than the face value so they are also called pure discount bonds secondly bonds with maturity the government and companies mostly issue bonds that specify the interest rate or coupon rate and the maturity period. Example, maturity period 5 years, interest rate 15 percentage. Third, perpetual bonds. Perpetual bonds have an infinite lifespan. So, this bond has unlimited lifespan. In essence, they are perpetuities. The bond holders continue to receive interest payments and if they want to, they can always sell the bonds to other investors. A zero coupon bond with face value rupees thousand and six years until majority is available in the market because of its risk characteristics, you require a 12% return 
compounded annually on this bond how much should you pay for it so we have to calculate bond value this is zero coupon bond the pure discount bond as i mentioned earlier here there is no coupon rate so now we can calculate the bond value we can use this equation for calculating the bond value when the bond is zero rated B not equal F B divided by one plus R upon N. This is the equation for calculating the bond value, the bond bill rated bond. Here B not equal bond value if b equal face value face value of the bond in the question In the question, face value of the bond is thousand rupees. So if B is thousand, then R R equal rate of return. R equal rate of return. Rate of return also is given in the question as twelve percentage. So rate of return is twelve percentage or zero point one two. N N equal maturity period. Majority period. In the question, majority period is given as six years. So n equal six years. Now we can calculate the bond value as per the information. B not face value divided by one plus R upon N. Face value equal thousand rupees divided by one plus R. Required rate of return equal twelve percentage, or zero point one two. Upon n, n is majority period. Majority period is given in the question as six years, so six. So answer for the question is the bond value is five hundred and six rupees sixty three cents. Next third question Third question
A bond pays annual interest of rupees 65 into perpetuity. What would be its value of the bond if the market yield or interest rate were 15 percentage? In the question, there are there is in the question there are two information is given. First, 65 rupees annual interest that is perpetuity. Second information interest rate 15 percentage. So we can calculate bond value as per the information. We can calculate the bond value as per the information B not bond value equal C divided by rate. Here C equal coupon payment the coupon payment or interest payment is given in the question annual interest of rupees 65 so rupees 65 is interest payment and rate rate equal interest rate interest rate interest rate is given in the question 15 percentage so interest interest rate is 15 percentage or 0 0.15 so now we can calculate the bond value as per the information B not equal C divided by rate. Here C is calculate C sixty five rupees divided by fifteen percentage O zero point one five fifteen percentage O zero point one five. So answer for the question the bond value is 433 rupees 33 cents. Fourth question, Mr. Kumar has decided to invest in Heels PLC. He expects to hold the investment for a year. At the, at end, at the end of the period, he expects rupees 5.5 as the dividend for the period and the market value of the chair is 55. According to his assessment, the required rate of return for the investment is 14 percentage. Estimate the value of the chair of Kiel's PLC. As per the information, dividend value is 5.5 rupees and the market value of the chair is 55 rupees. Additionally, required rate of return is given as 14 percentage so we can calculate the estimate value of the chair of keels plc as per the information We can use this equation to calculate the chair value. So, chair value equal chair value equal.
d1 divided by 1 plus r upon n plus p1 divided by 1 plus r upon n here d1 is dividend p1 is price here d1 is given dividend is given as 5.5 rupees in the question and p1 price is given 55 rupees and r required rate of return is given 14 percentage and also given maturity period in one year so now we can calculate the share value of Kiehl's PLC as per the information. D1 is given 5.5 rupees divided by 1 plus R required rate of return 14 percentage so 0 0.14 upon n maturity period is given one year plus p1 p1 is given in the question 55 rupees divided by 1 plus required rate of return is 14 percentage 0 0.14 upon maturity period is one year So the answer So the final answer is fifty three rupees. 7 cents. The chair value of Kiel's PLC is 53 rupees 7 cents. Fifth question, Delta Corporation is expected to have the following growth rate 10% during the first 4 years and then 5% forever thereafter. Delta just paid its annual dividend of rupees 2. What is the price of a share of Delta stock if the stockholders require rate of return of 10 percentage on their investment so delta corporation expected following growth rates first four years 10 percentage thereafter the growth rate is changed as five percentage and just annual dividend paid as rupees two so and the additional information required rate of return is 10 percentage Therefore, we have to calculate the price of chair of delta stock. This is the dividend growth model. So, we can calculate 
first four year dividend as 10 percentage growth rate first four years g equal g equal 10 percentage thereafter g equal 5 percentage and dividend paid d not equal to dividend d not equal to rupees and the required rate of return is 10 percentage so required rate of return equal r equal 10 percentage now we can calculate the chia value through the dividend growth model equation first we have to calculate the dividends for the first four years in year one so d1 d1 we have to calculate the dividend d naught into 1 plus g d naught is all already given in the question as rupees 2 so 2 rupees into 1 plus g g equal 10 percentage for the first four years so 10 percentage 0 0.10 so answer for the d1 equal 2.2 rupees in year 2 year 2 d2 d2 equal d1 1 plus g d1 1 plus g o d not 1 plus g upon 2 so already we have calculated d1 as 2.2 rupees 1 plus g 10 percentage 0 0.10 so answer for the d2 is 2.42 rupees in year 3 d3 d2 1 plus G. We have already calculated D2 2.42 rupees into 1 plus G 10 percentage 0 0.10. So answer for the D3 is 2.42. In year four, year four equal D four, dividend in fourth year, D three into one plus G. 
D3 already calculated 2.66 rupees. into 1 plus g g 0 0.10 so answer for the d4 equal 2.928 rupees now we have calculated first 4 year dividends in the growth rate 10 percentage now we have calculated first 4 year dividend in the growth rate 10 percentage ok thereafter the dividend growth rate is changed as 5 percentage so we should calculate fifth year dividend Year 5, year 5 equal D5, D4, 1 plus G, D4 equal 2.928 rupees into 1 plus G. G equal the rate dividend growth rate is changed as 5 percentage. So 0 0.055. So the answer for the D5 equal 3.0744 rupees. Now we have to calculate price value in the fourth year. So now we have to calculate P4. So P4 we have to calculate the share value in the fifth year. So equation for the p4 is d5 d5 divided by ke minus g ke minus g so d5 is already calculated 3.074 rupees divided by ke required rate of return is given 10 percentage 0 0.10 minus G growth rate thereafter for years is 5 percentage so 0 0.05 so answer for the P4 equal 61.48 rupees Now we have calculated Now we have calculated all the elements Finally we have to calculate present value of the figures Yeah. Okay. 
cash flow cost of capital or required rate of return 10 percentage so present value in the years zero no any cash flows so zero cost of capital 10 percentage in the zero year 1.000 so present value also zero in the first year cash flow we have calculated year one dividend is 2.2 rupees so 2.2 rupees cost of capital 10 percentage so we can calculate 1 divided by 1 plus r upon n 1 plus r 10 percentage so 0 0.10 upon n first so 0 0.909 so multiply cash flow into cost of capital present value is 2 rupees in the year 2 second year cash flow is dividend also calculate that year 2 dividend d2 is 2.42 cost of capital in year 2 1 divided by 1 plus 0 0.1 upon 2 second year the value is value is 0 0.826 so present value is cash flow into cost of capital 2 rupees third year cash flow dividend is paid in the third year 2.0662 cost of capital 1 divided by 1 plus r upon n 1 plus R required rate of return 0 0.10 10 percentage upon N third year 3 0 0.751 so we can multiply cash flow into cost of capital 2 rupees in the fourth year dividend is 2.928 rupees cost of capital cost of capital 1 divided by 1 plus r 0 0.10 upon n n 4 year 4 so 0 0.683 so we can multiply into cost of capital 2 rupees finally we have calculated all the dividend value to the present value now we have to calculate P4 price 4 so value price 4 in the fourth year P4 is already calculated as 61.48 rupees. Cost of capital also calculated in the fourth year already 0 0.683. Now we have now we have to multiply. So 41 rupees 99 cents. So total present value of the cash flow is. 49.99 rupees so delta corporation stock value is stock value for the delta corporation is 49.99 rupees
finally we have to calculate preference stock value a company with a rupees 100 irredeemable preference share which pays a dividend of rupees 10 assumes that this type of preference share is currently yielding a dividend of 12 percentage what is the value of the preference stock yeah this preference stock is perpetual this is permanent percentage so we can calculate like this P naught equal D one D one divided by KP P naught equal market value of the preference share D one equal dividend KP equal D one equal dividend dividend value is given in the question as rupees 10 kp equal cost of reference here cost of preferentia is given in the question as 10 uh, is given in the question as 12 percentage so now we so now we can calculate the value of the preferentia d1 10 rupees divided by KP cost of reference here is 12 percentage or 0 0.12 so the answer for the preference here is 83.33 rupees this is the answer for this question